a fairy tale <laughs> so I won't say that this love story isn't a fairy tale with its happy ending however I believe what we nowadays typically call love is only ever the start of our love story in our romanticized 21st century culture almost all forms of mainstream art music film and literature puts the emphasis on the beginning of a relationship and the build-up to today, the wedding day. Rarely do we get an insight into what it is to have enduring, true love, a marriage. Robbie, Scott, I think your fairy tale is about to end. <laughs> <laughs> and your true love story will begin in earnest. A life together in unity. My wish and hope for you both is that you continue to love and support each other. Have patience for each other when it is needed and that you help each other grow into the best versions of yourselves and that you can be. I have gifted you both <laughs> a kiss, a Peter Pan kiss, a thimble for you and an acorn for you. A token of which symbolizes endless friendship and eternal love. I had to throw in a nod to a fairy tale somewhere. <laughs> but my hope is that you will let it be a reminder of the loyalty, purity, and innocence your love holds for you right now before you journey forward into Mary's life. The ability to step out into this big wide world as an individual often stems from the knowledge that there is someone beside us whom we can count on. I believe to find the road to happiness and independence, you must find the right person to depend on and travel down it with them. Feeling close and complete with someone else is a gift, the emotional equivalent of finding home. You two have it, treasure it. And now let's mark it forever. Today we are here in this meadow under the trees and a meadow is a beautiful place to begin something new. Now we've seen a full run of seasons, summer, autumn, winter and spring passed over in each other's eyes held hand in hand. It is in your eyes I found my strength, in your heart I have found my love, in your soul I found my mate 
and in your arms I found my home. With you, I am comforted, I am hopeful, and I am sure. So now, in this spring, we have a meadow full of flowers, <laughs> full of promise, so we, so we may begin our newest adventure. I want to build us a garden of abundance with a corner devoted to each season. With daffodils in spring and falling leaves for autumn, with an oak tree that bends but never breaks in winter storms, and every year roses in summer blooming over and over. Each year, the seasons will remind me of when I loved you first and how I love you now. Let us watch the trees grow older together, those that against the prevailing wind provide some shelter, swim in the wildest waters, cherish each sacred herb and flower that may feed us, and let us sit at the end of day beside each other in firelight, always. Let us be interwoven together, rooted securely in this earth with spirited wings to let us soar. Never one removed from the other, each enriching life for the other. I promise to love you without reservation. Oh God, hold it together. <laughs> to protect you in times of trouble, encourage you in times of trials, and help you to achieve all your goals. I promise I, promise I will cherish every moment with you. I will stand by you forever. You're my heart and my true friend, and I commit myself to make this union as magical, unique, and fabulous <laughs> as it has been, as it is now, forever. Today, we have a glorious meadow. Tomorrow, let us cultivate ourselves a garden. I love you. <laughs> As your hands are joined, let your hearts be joined in love. With these chords, I join you one to the other. I join you in union of body, heart, and soul. So I wrote these in a language only you would understand. Once upon a time, <laughs> in the highlands of Scotland wandered a handsome prince. His charm, creative flair and kind heart won the hearts of those around him. But he couldn't help feeling that something or someone was missing. Walking the coastal shores, he would often look out to sea to wonder where his ever after would be. He was not alone in this, for between the waves, a head would break the surface and look right back at him. Exchanging looks, they would often part ways, leaving nothing but curiosity. Storms of rage and waters would stir until one day, the prince noticed something laid on the shoreline, being beaten by the waves. Unsure to what he had found, the prince appro approached with caution, soon discovering it was merely a boy wrapped in a coat of wet fur. It was a sulky boy. <laughs> That same selkie boy the prince had been exchanging glances with in times gone by. The prince took the selkie boy and his coat home, nurtured him, loved him, and made him feel safe and secure, more so than the selkie boy had ever known before. So much so that he knew that the selkie boy knew that this was his purpose to do this for the prince in return. And over time, the prince taught him the ways of earth and fire, and in return, the selkie boy taught him the ways of air and water. Each day their love blossomed. And as each day their love blossomed, the prince solemnly anticipated that the sulky boy may return to the sea one day, resorting back to a life of longing. However, it was on this day, the sulky boy knelt before the prince and offered him his coat as a sign of his lifelong commitment to him, ensuring he would never have to yearn for his ever after anymore. That same sulky boy stands here before you today as we start to build our kingdom. By your side for the rest of our days, I promise you a life of loyalty, trust, and security. I promise to always be your home, your heartland, 
you a safe space, but most of all, I promise you a life of love. I will always be your ever after, as you have always been mine. <laughs> Robbie, do you accept this ring as a token of my love for you? I do. I Scott, love you. <laughs> do you accept this ring as a token of my love for you? I do. I now pronounce you united in marriage. You may seal your marriage with a kiss. I love you. I love you. So much. Too much. Too much. <laughs> ever seen be the worst you'll ever see. Ne miss nearly your girl. Oh, <laughs> drop in its e. May your eye keep hailing hearty till you're old enough to die. May your eye be just as happy as we wish your eye to be. Thank you so so much for coming today like we've been to so many weddings and actually this is in fact our first gay wedding so <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I just wanted to kick off and say a big, big thank you for you all coming and making the journey. Um, we appreciate we do live in the arse end of nowhere. <laughs> and we hope, we hope that throughout your time here, you will come to understand why we love this arse end of the nowhere so, so much. Lynn, thank you for welcoming me into your family. From first meeting you, I was, I, well, I was terrified at first because Robbie's first one says, I was getting dressed up and Robbie said, don't worry, she doesn't like any of my boyfriends anyway. So that set the tone really well. Um, and I was hope I was hoping to break the mold on that by, by standing here today. And I remember when I first went to ask Lynn for Robbie's hand, we were in treatments with Layla for all day and I snuck off with Louis, walking up the road, terrified of what I'm gonna say having a cup of tea, you know, small chat, knowing what I'm going to ask, and we got there, I asked the big question, if I could take Robbie's hand in marriage, and suddenly floods of tears of joy, I hope. Um, there was floods of tears anyway. And the first thing she said to me, are you sure he's an absolute nightmare? <laughs> of course, I would not have him any other way. My darling husband. <laughs> there are so many, so many things I could say, and I know I'm prone to rambling, so I'll try and keep it short and sweet. You have changed my life. You've shown me what love is, and you've shown me to love myself, which you know I've always struggled with. We talk about me and you when elements collide. You are fire and earth, and I'm pure air and water, the other guest, emotional, airy, <laughs> airy, <laughs> off in the clouds. And you would expect when storms collide, uh, when elements collide, you would get storms. But I think when there is tough sailing, it is just you and I, and we work through it completely, and we let our elements collide to build a paradise. I love you. Mr. Bear Green. Mr. Bear. And thank you for it always being you. It's always been you. Always. My ever after. So, ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses and toast to family, friends, and my handsome new husband.